this is something I've been thinking about for a while. Um, I've been wanting to do kind of like a quick tip Tuesday, you know, just give a little piece of advice, something I've picked up um, for spraying for the last, you know, forever it feels like. Um, but anyways, I just thought it'd be nice to just share a little bit of wisdom every Tuesday, just something you can do on your own sprayer or farm. And probably a lot of it would cross, you know, apply to running a tractor versus a sprayer. But yeah, hopefully you find it useful. Um, so the first tip I wanted to share is actually something I've discovered pretty recently. Something I can't believe I didn't think of sooner, but it has to do with guidance lines and um, and making your, you know, your AB line um, when you're spraying a field. And this kind of applies to when you're spraying a circle, something with a pivot. Just make sure your first line is nice and straight, you know, just, just off center, just a little from that pivot. So your boom goes right up to it and um, you can just keep going over it. So I'll turn this around and I'll show you all how I do it. I know this is, I know this is kind of hard to see, but bear with me. So if this is the field I'm spraying on my phone or iPad. I'll just zoom in to the pivot right here. And I will put a pin right on top of that pivot and it will bring up the coordinates right here. And then I will come, oops, sorry, to, you know, if I'm gonna set a new line, I'll do a new track and then I will do a longitude and latitude and I will type that that coordinates into the first one Push OK so I will type that longitude latitude right here and then for my second one you know it really depends um, I will just drive to where I want to start so if I wanted you know I would just kind of drive to wherever so if I wanted to start you know say the pivots kind of pointing this way I would just drive and just put a pin right where I'm sitting and get that coordinates that from there and type it in here for my second one and then I will push okay there and that will create my my guidance line and then I just shift over 55 foot um and I mean it comes dead on my boom you know the end of my boom will be right in the middle of that pivot and it works out perfect um, the other way I can use this, I get that, you know, pin for the, the pivot there. I'll type that in. And then for the second to make my line, I can just write an angle. If they want me to go to 45 or they want me to go directly north and south. Um, some guys are particular like that. I can just put a pin on that pivot and then say, you know, zero degrees or 90 degrees or, you know, whatever. And I'll make that line perfect. And... I don't know. I don't know why. I never thought about this. You know, my dad taught me how to spray and he's been spraying since he was 16. So well before GPS. So and before you had a smartphone that you could do this on. Um, before I'd always drive, you know, about one, you know, straight going straight towards the pivot. Push A, drive towards the pivot and press B then back out and then scoot over. But this way I can have my line created before I've even gotten in the field. I can put a pin right on that pivot and say create a circle. And it will create perfect circles for me and I don't have to drive a, a circle track at all anymore I mean it saves me a lot of time a lot less tracks in the field and, and it's a lot more accurate I feel like than you know trying to drive straight towards a pivot so anyways hope it was useful I hope I'll keep doing this most Tuesdays give everyone a quick tip whether it's spray or maintenance or how to run it or something if you have any anything you want to know just just let me know